welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a review of the Owlette Smart Sock and Camera Monitor. Um, I'm going to be talking about some pros and cons and a couple of features that I wish that it had. The Owlette has two parts. It has a Smart Sock and Base Station and then it also has a Camera Monitor. So the Owlette Smart Sock uses pulse oximetry to monitor a baby's heart rate and oxygen levels, and then they use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to submit those levels through their base station and ultimately alarm you if something were to go outside of normal range. The cost of both the camera and sock together is $450. The sock alone is $300 or the camera alone is $150. So that is pretty expensive and it was something that ultimately um, in the beginning, we decided not to get the smart sock because it was so expensive. But then we found out that it's HSA and FSA approved. And so we were able to go ahead and get ours by using our HSA account. Um, and they also do offer payment plans. So starting with the pros, number one, it gives me peace of mind. Um, as a mom, I just love that I can know that my baby is okay while she sleeps um, and while I sleep. Um, moving her from our room into her own room was a really scary thing for me and putting that sock on her and knowing that it's monitoring her heart rate and her oxygen levels and that it will alarm if something were to go wrong um, gave me a lot of peace of mind and comfort in moving her um, so I really enjoy that the next pro is the app so when you get the smart sock or camera you will download their free app and that is what will act as the monitor so if you want to check on baby and watch them um, through the camera you'll go onto the app i also enjoyed that multiple people can download the app and log into the account and have access to it so my husband and i can both check in on her if we are away um, the smart sock tracks their sleep and you can actually go in the app and review their sleep history and see um, all the times that they woke up during the night when they were in a light sleep or a deep sleep we really like this feature because she typically wakes up a good hour before she even starts to fuss in the mornings um, so we don't even hear her awake until maybe 30 minutes to an hour later um, and that's when she'll start to fuss and be like, hey, I'm awake and I'm hungry. And we can go back and check the history and see when she actually woke up so we know when her next nap is supposed to be. Another pro to this um, Owlette sock and monitor is that you can actually use it for multiple children. So in the app, you can create multiple profiles and um, if you have multiple cameras in different kids' rooms or different socks for different children, you can go in and check on each of those kids separately, which is a really nice feature if you have more than one kid. Another great feature is that the sock, when you order it, actually comes in three sizes, so you can use it all the way from birth until they are 18 months old, so it will grow with your child. Um, so it is a big investment at first, but it will last you a very long time. And you can also put the sock on both the left and right feet. It works on both. We like to put it on a different foot each night. So one night we'll put it on the left and the next night on the right, um, just to give her feet a break. Now moving into the cons, um, one of the biggest things is that you can get false alarms. Um, if the sock is not placed on correctly or if the sock is not the proper size, um, it can send a false alarm. We've had that happen only once or twice. Um, it is kind of scary, but usually if you even get an alarm, it's usually a false alarm and that's typically why you just need to adjust that sock. Um, so if your alarm does go off, obviously go check on your baby make sure that they are breathing and that they are okay and then just adjust that sock another one of the big cons that I have is that the app can sometimes be a little bit glitchy um, if you don't have strong Wi-Fi it can be a little frustrating if you have poor connection sometimes the camera you can't even get it to load um, we don't have very expensive Wi-Fi we get like the cheapest option and that can be frustrating if we have multiple devices running and multiple people home using the Wi-Fi the connection kind of slows and then the camera just spins so that's kind of a con um, but if you have better Wi-Fi then maybe that's not an issue 
Another thing within the app being glitchy is that between different phones, certain things don't work. So on my phone, the sound will not play unless I have my phone screen on, like my phone is on and open. On my husband's phone, even if he turns off the screen, the sound will still play, which it is supposed to do. You're supposed to be able to hear the sound even without your phone being on, so you can use it as a monitor, but that feature is kind of glitchy. Um, I don't know if that's an iPhone issue or what, but it is something that doesn't work for me. So baby got fussy and she's going to join me for the rest of this video, but um, another con that I wanted to share within the app being glitchy is that if you do have multiple cameras for one child, uh, it works better if you set it up as if it were two different children. You're supposed to be able to have multiple cameras under one profile, but it really didn't work well for us. It would often glitch and only show one of the cameras and you couldn't switch to the other one. Um, to give an example of why you would need two cameras, when we had her sleeping in our room, we had a camera in our room over her bassinet but we also had a camera in her room in the nursery over the crib so that when she would take naps, we could still check on her. And it just was a pain to try to switch back and forth. So you're gonna probably need to set it up as if it were two different children on two different profiles. So another con is that the camera does have a status light. Um, you could find that feature helpful. However, it is really bright and it will change color if you are accessing the app to monitor your baby. So um, it'll be one color and then if you pop on the app to check on them, the light will change and it's very bright. And often we would find that she would be staring at the light and it would distract her and keep her awake. So you can go in the app and actually turn that feature off, which we did. Um, I don't see the need in having that status light because the baby doesn't need to know if I'm watching her. <laughs> so another thing that I want to mention under the con category is that you cannot adjust the camera on the app or remotely. The only way you can adjust... <laughs> The only way you can adjust the angle of the camera is manually. So you have to go into the room and move the camera. For us, we didn't mind that feature. Um, we didn't really see a need to be able to adjust it manually. We just, we just set the camera to a point where um, we could see her whole crib no matter where she is. But if you want to be able to adjust it, um, this might not be the option for you because you cannot do that. Another thing I would like to mention is that we find it necessary to purchase multiple socks. So although it did come with three socks in three different sizes, we did purchase multiple socks in each size because we were noticing that the more she wore the sock um, and it would get kind of sweaty and whatever, it, could, it started to cause a heat rash on her foot. Um, so the solution that we found to that is buying multiple socks in her size and switching them out every few nights, at least once a week. Otherwise, they start to develop a heat rash on their foot because it does have a bit of plastic and it just kind of rubs and it's not good. So that is kind of, <laughs> that is kind of a con. And finally, the camera does need Wi-Fi in order to function. So if your power goes out, you're not gonna be able to look in on your baby, um, which is kind of frustrating. However, it does continue to monitor, the smart sock will continue to monitor the baby even without power um, and still alarm you if something were to happen. At least that's my understanding. We did have the power go out um, and you couldn't view live her stats, but after the power came back on, the app did import what had happened during that break. So a couple of features that I wish that this app had were like a mobile base station or the ability to live view their stats <laughs> off of Wi-Fi. Um, if the power were to go out, like I said, you cannot see their heart rate or oxygen, um, you can't see them. Or if I were to be at a friend's house or we were to go out of town, um, you can't really use this without your Wi-Fi. And so I wish there was a way to use it um, without needing your home Wi-Fi. Another feature that I think would be really helpful is like a babysitter setting or feature where you can set times for your babysitter to have access and only during those times. So I would have loved for our babysitter to be able to use the app and watch the baby and monitor the heart and all of that um, while she was here. 
but I also didn't really want to give her access to be able to listen in on things that were going on in my home when she wasn't here. I mean, it just kind of weirds me out the thought of that. So I wish there was a feature where you could go in and give somebody access only at certain times. I think that that would be really helpful. And another feature that I think would be kind of cool to have is integration with your smart home devices, whether it be your Google Home or your Amazon um, device. I don't want to say her name because we have one. I think it would be cool to say, hey, smart device, um, what are Bella's stats or what's her oxygen or what's her heart rate or things like that. I think that that would be a cool feature. Uh, I don't know if that's something they're working on. Not everybody likes the idea of smart homes either, but we personally use them and I think that that would be a cool feature. So if you've clicked on this video and are watching this, you're probably just wondering, is it worth it and would I buy it again? And the answer is absolutely, I would buy it again. I think it is worth the purchase. Um, it just gives me so much peace of mind. And although it does have some cons, you know, features that I don't enjoy or things that I wish it had, I think that the benefits far outweigh those. Um, and they're typically the things that I mentioned, like, you know, potential heat rash or, um, you know, poor connection. Those are things that are easily fixable and so I personally think that it is so worth it and um, worth the money because it gives me so much peace of mind. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and you found it helpful. If you have any comments on the Owlette smart sack or camera that you would like to share, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I like to hear other people's opinions. Um, I know I watched a million and one videos about everything that I bought before I bought it. I just like to know before I buy if I'm going to like it. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.